What is up you guys? Welcome back to another Skyrim update. I am so stoked to bring episode 2 to you guys. This week we worked on the planes of Skyrim, I like to call, <laughs> and kind of like the beginning of the abandoned giant's hideout or camp, I guess you could say. I don't know if I'm going to build a giant yet, but I think it'd be pretty cool. I know in the thumbnail, I have a big giant and let me know down in the comments if you guys think I should build a replica giant to that scale or make it more look like Skyrim. I want to know what you guys think. But the giant camps of Skyrim. These are scattered across the province and are notable for their imposing giant inhabitants and the mammoths they often tend to. Recreating one of these in the world would be quite an endeavor. Skyrim features several different giant camps, each with their own layout and features. I plan to create my own, but others have created ones around Whiterun and such. Starting the plan and get the idea, since this will be phase one of building the giant camps, they're known for their architectural prowess. So the camp itself might be relatively simple, but build a large tent for the giants, perhaps with a rough hewn beams and hide stretched across the frame. Smaller tents or lean-tos could be scattered around for the giant's mammoth herding companions. Speaking of mammoths, no giant camp would be complete without these lumbering beasts. Now Lego has actually created their own mammoths and elephant line. I don't know how I feel about these because I really think the Skyrim mammoths are a lot different than how Lego has created theirs. And this Lego ones are a lot smaller than the proportions would be per Lego's design anyways. I just think these big woolly mammoths would look great being brick built. I found some references. I don't really like the eyes on this one, but I think this one would be a beautiful one to recreate. I think having the opportunity to create a mammoth to the scale of Skyrim and it being brick built would be awesome. Now, make sure you guys let me know down in the comments if I should add in a brick built mammoth and a brick built giant. Because otherwise, if you guys think it's cool without, then I'm all game. Also, before we even start the build process, I really was inspired by these little, not necessarily shrines, but left buildings that other characters in the game would go to as checkpoints or points of relevancy to their life and their history and their lineage so adding one of these not necessarily cottages but buildings of a more nordic descent is something i really wanted to implement especially next to this river that way the river also ties the difference between the camp and this building i think it'd be great to utilize a river flowing through so starting this build process, I started off with a 32 by 32, so there's going to be three of them stacked together. I started off laying out the river, then I started playing out my field area and where this building is going to sit in that corner. Adding all different types of architecture and trying to be as Nordic as possible, uh, I think it came out pretty good. I haven't done much terrain in a long time and it felt really good to to jump back into that and place down a whole bunch of plates that I know for a fact are going to be killer to pull back up. I've been stocking up a whole bunch of these parts because I used to build Kashyyyk and that's something that I would like to come back to hopefully in the near future once I have more space again. But all these dark tan pieces and reddish brown or I guess you should say brittle brown have been being stocked up for a long time that starting this build was perfect getting the rocks placing and all the grass is a lot of fun i didn't add too much yet just because this is phase one i'm saving a lot more detail and adding more of the bigger structures in and the road paths now before i get too much into detail but jumping back to the camps a central campfire surrounded by a ring of stones for seating would be a focal point for my camp I will include like spit roasting mammoth meat and other cooking implements. Usually there isn't really any security for these camps. Usually they're kind of more hidden in coves and rocks. 
So in phase two, there'll be more rock placement and kind of enclosing. Again, the terrain around the camp would likely be rocky and uneven with patches of grass and scrub vegetation. So using this and adding it or implementing it into my build will be in more phase two. This is the rough touches, you could say, of planning and laying out. Since this build is only going to be on a six foot table, I am limited to only three base plates wide. So doing this is going to be a work in progress and a real struggle to really encapsulate everything we have. But with the finishing touches that I will add into part two of building the giant's camp, there will need to be like animal tracks, possibly scattered bones and other signs of life in the wilderness. I'll even add in, like I already have, the river as well. Let me know what you guys think you would like to see in this build. But now, after a nice time lapse of what has happened, we got a nice rough layout of where everything in this part of the section of the world is going to be. We got the starting of some details just to try out some placements and see some details of like how the canvas would look, how different sticks and leaves, um, how they have different stacks, the rolled out stone, different rock placements, the way that the river curves and bends. I just really want this to encapsulate Skyrim a lot. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe and let me know down in the comments what else you guys want to see in this world. I hope you have a great day and a great life. See you in the next episode.